you're in a new relationship and it's hot and juicy and electric and the romance is there, the fire is there, this person could do no wrong. You're in a new job and it's exciting. You're in the learning curve and there's so much happening at once and you're just soaking it up like a sponge. When something is new in our lives, it's really, really interesting. It has us engaged. That change is something that we thrive off of in that moment. And if you're in a new business, like one of my new clients, and you've recently quit your job like they have and are full-time in your new business, there's a lot of excitement in the beginning. It's that honeymoon phase. You know that honeymoon phase where you're excited about it, it's all new, you want to talk to people, you want to yell from the mountaintops, hey, look at my new website, look at the changes that I'm making, this is the service, the product that I'm offering. It's so, so sexy and glamorous and fun. And you literally, you just get high from telling people and sharing it with the world. And you should be. You should be proud of yourself. You're creating something. You're putting yourself out there. It's huge. And then the honeymoon's over. Then all of that sparks flying, electrifying, fire kind of starts to dwindle and go away. Hey, I used to be so excited. What's going on? How come I can't even get up in the morning? I can't motivate myself to do more work, to share my stuff. We need to declare the honeymoon is over. I shared this idea with a client of mine because I just felt like it was super, super important. If you're anything like me, you're great at starting. You love starting new things and... You just have shiny object syndrome. Oh, new shiny object, let's go in this direction. New book, new great idea, let's go in that direction. It's nonstop, it's high energy, it's so invigorating to actually do it. And you know what's so funny? It's the fact that we think it's new, but it's not new at all. This cycle of chasing that next new thing, that next best thing, that new guru to worship, that new book, to, that'll, that's going to blow our minds, that new tool or strategy that's going to take our business to the next level. Constantly chasing and chasing and chasing and doing that new thing, next thing, over it thing. That's fucking boring. It's boring. We do it all the time. Actually, it's pretty predictable for people like us. The possibility, on the other hand, true possibility is, hey, what happens if I fully commit? What happens if I keep going? When the honeymoon is over, you've created change, you've created possibility, things are transforming, people see it, you see it, the whole world around you is starting to shift, gets really uncomfortable, gets kind of annoying it gets you kind of get this self-growth transformation hangover afterwards and it's a lot to be with so a part of us wants to cut and run and go chase the next thing because this doesn't feel good let's go to the exciting that part feels good that feels hot you know we get high off of that so that's one way of doing it the other way is keep going The next reinvention is about to occur. You keep working. You keep doing the fundamentals. If this new project or new idea or new relationship or whatever it is, if this is based on truth and essence and being and if it comes from this aligned place, then why would you stop doing it? Why would you let go of it? Why would you want to start up the next thing? If you stick to it, And if you do the work, you show up every single day and you get through that point, I promise you, you will reach the next possibility, the next reinvention, the next level of power in your business. Fuck the honeymoon. That's easy. Romance is easy. But true love, true love is choice. 
It's commitment. It's creating something bigger than yourself. So if you're like me and you have that tendency of always wanting the next exciting, next new, big, mind-blowing thing and just do it over and over and over again, realize that that's boring. That is not new. That is not actually not exciting. That's par for the course. That's what you do all the time. That's what I do all the time. What's actually new and possible is keeping going, not giving up when it gets uncomfortable, not stopping when it gets really, really hard. It's supposed to be challenging. It's supposed to test you. You're on your growth edge. It's not supposed to be comfortable. Let go of the romantic idea of it needs to be exciting. Declare that the honeymoon is over. Stop manufacturing significance around it. Like every single word I write has to be life-changing. Everything, every video that I make has to be the best thing I've ever said in the world or it's not worth it or it's beneath me, it's below me. Just fucking do your job. 